Guys, it also has a rev limiter. Let's put the foot on the brake. Back to classic. Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. Right here, for the first time, we have the all-new Mercedes AMG EQE43. I've got the keys in my hand, a new AMG design key with a ledger ring on the front and the back side. So let me unlock the AMG. And there you can already hear the AMG invitation sound and yes, the door handles fold out. So in this video, I will show you the full AMG characteristics. We'll take it for a drive. And yes, it has the rear axle steering. So the rear wheels, they move 10 degrees in the opposite direction below 100 kilometers an hour. And from the front, you can already see this is a new design, different than the EQS because it doesn't have the one bow lights in the front. Instead of that, it has a beautiful etched, more aggressive like design. And as you can see from the license plate, this EQE 43 AMG is at Auto Trachsler in Retzikon near Zurich. And overall it looks more like an AMG front with the large front intakes. So let's move over a little bit to the side where you can already see a complete new design AMG rims aerodynamically optimized special for the EQE AMG. The gap over here is actually meant for the water fluid for the wipers. It says a 4 -matic. You can also go for the 4 Plus in the EQE 53. But I'm very curious how it drives. First of all, just check out the exterior because this is the high-tech exterior color. And let me just press the door handle so that we can have a look inside. It has a 1 meter 41 centimeter display, which is called the Hyper Screen. But before we move inside and take it for a drive, let's move over into the side because it has a beautiful one line design. This is also called the seamless design and that's why the bonnet is connected all the way to the wheels. It has beautiful chrome parts and also a very curvy design. Just check out the rear. It has a lovely spoiler also in high-tech silver with a one bow design for the tail lights. And I really love the diffusers because these are more on the sides where you expect an exhaust tip. But without further ado, I will open the trunk, which opens not so far away alongside the coupe line. But just check out the space. There is around one meters and 20 centimeters of depth. And there you can already see the charging cable. So let's close it. And we will go inside. So guys, now we are sitting inside the Mercedes AMG EQE. And first I want to show you when I press the parking button, you can actually see a bird view of the car live. And it looks amazing, very realistic, because you can see the wall surroundings and it is very accurate. A beautiful Mercedes Panamericana grille. So you can check out the sides so that you're not hitting any curbs. And it also displays the rear axle steering. So if you move around, you can actually see the rear and I will put it immediately into the Sport Plus mode. And here you can switch around through the settings from drive, suspension and sound. So if you hit the home button, you can also change the styles and display in the front. Currently it is set to super sport, but let's go to classic. And this is what we are used to with also the EQS. It goes to 280 kilometers an hour and there you have your power in percentage. You can also change it to the sport mode, comfort mode individual and then you can change it separately over here so if you have it for example in the comfort mode you don't need to go to individual to change the details so if you're in sport plus you can change the suspension to comfort and still drive in sport plus but let's go to sport plus i will 
activate the sound too powerful. Very nice. There is also of course an AMG performance view. As you can expect in every AMG. There you can see how everything is powered, the energy flow. Let's go up the hill. <laughs> Amazing. Very cool information. With of course the G-force meter. do feel the power and I also have this urge to downshift but of course we can't because if you hit the downshift it will give you a recuperation in a strong way you can also put it on the upshift normal or no recuperation but if you hold the up pedal it will go into automatic mode intelligence recuperation So in total, the EQE 43 has 476 horsepower. And that takes it from 0 to 100 km an hour, well below 4.5 seconds. Downshift. I'm just joking. So agile. If you go back to the sport mode, there's a difference in sound. A higher pitch, I have to say. And now back to the comfort mode. the sound really disappears. It's more like a small whistle that you hear. But all in all, back to sport mode. Sport plus. <laughs> it is really a high difference. Each mode really has its own characteristics. The rear axle steering in the AMG is more meant for agile cornering because if you drive more than 100 km an hour it will move in the same direction as the front wheels so that you have to steer a little less and when driving below 100 km an hour in these curvy roads the rear wheels will move in the opposite direction making it a more sportive feeling. So let's get back to the destination. So guys, let's do a launch control. I have it in Sport Plus, classic screen. I will hit the brake and the accelerator at the same time. Let's go. Crazy. Foot on the brake, accelerator.
Edge setting is also fairly easy because of the great ceiling and the coupe line. So guys, thanks for watching Merce Benz King. I hope you liked the video with the EQE 43 here at Auto Trachtler Retzicon in Switzerland. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.